Hey everybody, in this video tutorial I'm gonna show you how to get a YouTube Premium discount. So currently there are four ways to get a YouTube Premium discount. So there are three standard ways and one non-conventional way to get a YouTube Premium discount. So if you open up YouTube Premium and if you are based in the US, you can get YouTube Premium for 14 USD per month. But as you can see here, you can e either get an annual, a family or a student discount. So if you check it out, family discount is this student discount is this one and you can also get the annual plan and you will save some money as well as you can see you will get one month for free if you purchase an annual subscription however there is an even better way to get an even higher discount and to show you quickly i am able to get youtube premium for this price which also seems bigger than the 14 usd per month which is this 72 zare per month zare is south african rand and 72 South African Rand equals to less than four US dollars, according to the Google currency converter, which means you can get the biggest discount by using this method. And how you can do this? All you have to do is get a VPN service. The one I'm recommending is NordVPN because you can get it for 30 days for free. And uh, in 30 days, you can cancel your subscription and request a refund. And once you have your uh, NordVPN account, all you have to do is connect your account to South Africa. You can also try some South American countries, but South Africa worked for me. And once you change your IP address from an American or European IP address to a South African IP address, all you have to do is refresh your page. And instead of this 14 USD per month, I have refreshed a page. And as you can see, we can get YouTube premium for 70 ZAR, which is less than four US dollars. So these are the four ways you can get YouTube premium for free. If you want to use the fourth method, make sure to check out NordVPN in the description below. As I mentioned, you can get a 30 day free trial and I hope you found this tutorial useful and see you next time.